Kind of like the parks in Las Vegas and in Colorado that we know of, uh, the state parks are free to walk into. You just have to pay to drive in. So we're kind of in a, a neighborhood near uh, one of the entrances uh, and we can throw a map up of that where kind of where that is. Um, but then we can walk in and not have to pay for, for driving in or parking. Which we already have the state pass. So it does not work for Aurora Reservoir does not work for a horse <laughs> reservoir. So see, we would have had to pay regardless, but we live pretty close to here. So it was a quick drive in and then we just walk in. The sky is gorgeous today. So if you come in this way, it looks like it's open from 5.30 to nine. That must be the park hours. I don't know. No, the gate hours. Just the gate. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe there's any overnight camping in this, in this park. Good morning, how are you? We're good. Hey, is this a busy day today? We we haven't been over here in a long time. No worries. So during our busiest months, which being June and July, even a little bit of August sometimes, June and July are peak hours, so obviously those ones. But anytime, like around 11 or so, it starts to pop. Sunday can be a little bit hit or miss. Saturday is definitely a lot busier, but Saturday, Sunday, I definitely say are some of the worst ones. Yeah. Hours are gonna constrict. They're starting to constrict by 30 minutes starting August 1st. So instead of five to 9.30, it's gonna be 5.30 to nine. Okay. And then they restrict even more the next month. The closing time bumps up to an uh, by an hour, I believe, to like eight and just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Online it says no motorized boats, but they can have like, tro that means like the big motors. They yeah, can like just have the motors. trolling motors. Like yes. the, okay. So electric motors only. Basically the oh. only gas motor on the lake is going to be our ranger boat there yeah uh, otherwise I the electric assume. trolling motors you're all good <laughs> okay cool. sweet no, thank you no, no worries no actually way. i'll give you guys one of these just in case just comes in handy i don't have any of the info cards but you guys have been here before so i assume yeah. you know pretty much everything but just in case you guys run into any questions comments concerns it has essentially every number you need to know oh. it's got the ranger line there which i typically recommend you try first so here's the picnic areas that you can reserve they're actually pretty big and they have fireplaces there's more like smaller picnic areas down here. It's a nifty little playground. And I believe there's a splash pad. Is there? No, there's not. I lied. This one must be off limits or reserved. But I do want to get a quick. Yeah, they have reserve signs on them. These small shelters are pretty nice though. They've got a, like a grill and a, like, I guess the fireplace is to direct the smoke. Right. You can only have 3.2% alcohol here and no glass containers. It says no fishing, but it would be near impossible to fish off this dock anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a ways to get even into the water. I'm guessing that's because the water's a little low right now. Yeah. This is really pretty. So this is the swimming beach? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. They have like a little walkway on the sand, <laughs> so you don't have to walk in the sand. <laughs> There are geese everywhere. Public restrooms is always nice.
a threatening goose. Have a basket wagon. Apparently, you need to watch out for rattlesnakes. It's worth mentioning we're not going to do all 7.8 miles around the whole thing. You don't want to walk 7.8 today. <laughs> not really. <laughs> um, it's a good little bike ride, though. It's got quite a few hills um, and some false inclines or false flats, I guess. Um, so it's a good little workout. Exercise ring closed. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>